it's Hello. December and we are on our way for a short trip Okay, this is my mom's first trip since COVID And this is also Ryan's second Okay, first flying trip Okay, say hi, say hi <laughs> First flying trip since COVID <laughs> Okay, he's anti-social Anyway, we are headed to Chiang Mai and Bangkok via Scoot And me and Chi Beng are going to run the Chiang Mai Half Marathon So yeah, it's another running trip come family trip so, are you excited? Are you excited for traveling? You haven't yeah, flown anxious the... because I haven't flown for three years. <laughs> yeah, so this year, me and Chiping already went to a couple of places. So, this is our fourth trip of the year. So, it's a nearby one to Thailand. And we are looking forward to Chiang Mai and Bangkok because there's a lot of good food all over there. And of course, another cooling race because Chiang Mai is pretty cool this weekend. So, stay tuned. I'll show you guys all about Chiang Mai and Bangkok in the upcoming videos. Met lots of runners on the same flight and it's Wendy! Hello. Hi Wendy! <laughs> Wendy also running the half so she's just purely going for a race trip. <laughs> <laughs> All the okay. race everywhere! Yeah, same to you! <laughs> Finally time for boarding! <laughs> We have arrived in Chiang Mai and this is our hotel Dusit D2 Chiang Mai So when we came here a couple of years ago, we stayed the same hotel and this year we are back So the hotel is about 1km from the race site which is at the Bay Gate area So pretty convenient and there's lots of Christmas decorations all around here as well So I'll give you a, guys a room tour later once we are checked in So here I am in my very nicely upgraded room at the Dusit D2 Chiang Mai and they were actually very nice to give us connecting rooms because we requested and they actually upgraded my deluxe room to a suite and one connecting, uh, connecting room which I'll show you guys later okay so this place is huge we start here I'm gonna walk right into this super huge closet it's like a walk-in closet and we can put our luggage here and check it out there's a very big closet area where you can hang your clothes there's bath robes your usual ironing board and even a safe as well and there's an umbrella if it's raining so this is pretty cool and now here check it out man it's a super super huge bathroom with a shower oh sorry this is the bathtub <laughs> and also a standing shower okay but there's no rain shower though but it's okay anyway i think ryan will have a lot of fun playing in the bathtub as well the doors of the bathroom and we come to the bedroom with a super huge king size bed oh my god okay this bed is very very comfy and i hope the pillows are uh, oh no is it soft i hope it's not too soft okay but we'll try it later but the bed is pretty short makes me feel like sleeping now and there's a tv in the room as well which is like a small one for your bedtime use and then we have a very big living room with a nice couch area and also another TV here so we have two TVs in our room and not forgetting right we also have coffee machine and also some complimentary water as well so okay snacks are not complimentary but it's okay we don't need the snacks so I'll show you guys the con so I'll show you guys the connecting room now so here is the connecting room Ryan has a bit of his own and look who he brought Two stuffed toys <laughs> Nice room right? So getting all comfy and we're gonna do a bit of unpacking first Just did a bit of unpacking and we're now headed out for lunch So okay, Chiang Mai is actually warmer than expected in the day So the sun is pretty strong Hopefully it's colder in the mornings and the night as well so anyway, we are going to try to check out this place to see if we can find some cow soy which is something that uh, supposedly you need to try when you're in Chiang Mai so it's like one of the best curry noodles around the area so let's see if we can find one <laughs> Okay, 
So if you have not been to Chiang Mai, right, I mean comparatively to Singapore or some of the other more uh, modernized places, Chiang Mai looks more um, older in terms of the architecture. There's a lot of those, you know, like in Thailand, basically they got a lot of all those cables hanging, uh, those electric cables hanging everywhere. So not as neat or as nice as uh, like Singapore, but Thailand is overall still a fun place to be at. And we are here for lots of cheap food, cheap shopping, cheap snacks, night markets. So looking forward to have our lunch first because it's lunch time and we're all hungry. Some of them got a chicken version. So this is basically like a bowl of curry noodles with some crispy stuff. Mm. So I asked for less spicy. Okay, but I think the less spicy look not very spicy. Can I try your spicy? The chicken one is more spicy, so it looks more orangey. Okay, the spicy not very spicy. Mmm, I should have more spicy. So they serve it with really? the normal noodle. Mm. Okay, but they have like three different prices like 60 baht, 80 baht, 100 baht. So I think we got like a small. And mine is like a piece of beef. Mm. So Ryan got like the beef rice. Lucky there's something for him to eat. Well, my mom is also having the curry. Less spicy curry chicken. How is it? Yeah. Nice? <laughs> Not bad. Uh. Not bad. Something unusual. We're sucking in. Pronounce it cow soy. Cow soy. Hi, nice milk tea to go along with it. And it's a very pretty cup, cute cup. Small little cup of Thai ice milk tea. Mm. Just nice, not too sweet. So we're just doing some sightseeing around Chiang Mai after lunch Walking off our khao soy So we're headed towards the Tape gate area Which is like the city gate This little boy doesn't want to take off his mask Ryan say hi Tao. <laughs> so the area that we're staying at, the, the Dusit D2 Chiang Mai right Is located just outside the Chiang Mai Night Bazaar area and also like the main shopping and uh, cafes area so there's a lot of shopping and a lot of cafes and restaurants just around our hotel and tonight we are going to be walking around the Chiang Mai Night Bazaar because it's at our doorstep so I'll show you guys haven't been to a Thai night market for 3 years so you're pretty excited to check out all the sites in Chiang Mai it's like love coming to Thailand because of the food, the massage, the shopping everything in Thailand is good, the snacks so yeah love Thailand yeah Good and cheap. cheap. But you can see the sun in the day is pretty hot. My mom has taken out her hat already. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So we just walked through the gates or the Tape gate and now we are along the Tape. This is this street is actually in the Sunday night um, walking street area. So today there are no shops here but on Sunday right basically the whole stretch will kind of be full of like uh, Pasamalam stalls. So the Tape gate is like just behind over there. This whole stretch will actually be transformed into a Sunday night market on Sunday so we're gonna be going for that Sunday night market as well but as of now we're just gonna walk through and take a look at the rest of Chiang Mai in general markets in Chiang Mai is this market called Wawero Market which we are going there tomorrow but on our afternoon walkabout we chanced upon this market called Ming Wang Market that is located in one of the small alleys uh, in Chiang Mai in around the Tepe Gate area so this market sells like lots of fresh produce like fruits then they have like uh, snacks cooked food coffee they have like a couple of coffee bars inside as well so quite an interesting place that we happen to chance upon not bad, if you're in the area, you can also check it out and get some fresh produce for yourself. Evening time and we're now at the street food at Kalara Night Market. Very big open area with lots of food stalls. So typical street food and pasamalam vibe. Maybe we're gonna try some of the food here. Check it out, there's grilled crocodile.
So we really enjoy our dinner at the night market just opposite our hotel which is like full of street food and the whole place was so nice and clean with a lot of seats available to sit and the mango with sticky rice was super super good and most of the food was like only like 50 baht, 100 baht, 80 baht so it's like very very value for money Anyway now we're just walking around the night market area along our hotel, I mean along the street so okay so many of the stores say no photo so better not take too many videos of the Pasar Malam but basically the Pasar Malam sells the usual clothes, hats, leather goods let's check it out the hats and also yeah quite a lot of stores so just wanna do some simple walking around so anyway hope you guys enjoyed following me around my first day in Chiang Mai I'll be back with more videos so stay tuned lots of exciting vlogs coming up for both Chiang Mai and Bangkok so thank you for watching don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!